Lord, have mercy. You want mercy? Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Alexios. Well, Alexios, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I came to find the great pirate Xenia. That's you, isn't it? I like the sound of that. But what was your plan once you found me? I came to offer you a deal. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Alexios. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia's the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Here, take your me. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need, how long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling, my purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finicas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Oh, yeah. 
again after the rowers catch their breaths.
Hippocrates. Look, you insignificant peon. Tell me where he is, or by era I'll burn this clinic to the ground with you in it. I already told you what I know. I don't ask much. Hippocrates must show humility to ensure public order, prostrate himself before the gods, and declare that his skills are gods given. But that won't help his patients. It'll just take him away from his work. If Hippocrates thinks he can disrupt social order to make himself into a demigod of healing, well, perhaps the gods themselves will have their revenge. I'm sure there's no need for raised voices. Who are you? I'm looking for a man named Hippocrates. Yet another crazed follower of the madman himself. Tell your impious master that unless he makes a public apology and soon, this priestess of Ira will gather an army of faithful and shut him down. Out of my way! Oh, thank all the gods she's gone. I thought she was going to kill me this time. What's going on? I am Sostratos. Crisis has accused my master Hippocrates of impiety. Is he impious? He believes that beyond praying, people can take their health into their own hands and make themselves well. Fascinating. Can I speak with him? I'm sorry, he isn't here. I'll find him. If you're going to meet Hippocrates, could I trouble you with a small errand? Depends what it is. I want you to bring him some equipment. He was in such a hurry, he left it behind. I could bring that to Hippocrates. Really? I'll be sure he gets the equipment. You have my thanks. How will I know when I found Hippocrates? Follow the road southeast of Hera's Watch, to the Cave of Pan. He won't have set up far from it. Look for a long line of sick people. He's, uh, balding. But I wouldn't mention that if I were you. <laughs> So many sick people. Can one man help all of them? Ah! Sinelfe! Sinelfe! Te los este! Oh, 
I thought they were exaggerating when they said people from all around came to see Hippocrates. So, what has caused this man's condition? An excess of phlegm, Doctor. In the immediate sense, yes. But more importantly, he suffers from neglect. Neglect? Good food, warm clothing, so much could have helped. But since other caretakers assumed his condition was a punishment from the gods, they neglected him. Challenging tradition. Huh. You must be Hippocrates. Yes, I'm also very busy. This is important. Where are all these people coming from, anyway? Patience, mercenary. They come from everywhere, but this is mostly overflow from the sanctuary of Asclepios. It's been crowded there since the war began, and with crowding comes sickness. I've come from your clinic in Argos. Sostratos asked me to give you this. I knew I forgot some things. Sostratos is a good physician, but a better apprentice there is none. Did you ask him to pay you for this delivery? No. I knew this would help you and your patients. That's good enough for me. Quite admirable. What did you say your name was? Alexios of Sparta. Well met, Alexios of Sparta. What do you need? I've been searching for a Spartan woman. What makes you think I would know her? I was told you may have helped her a long time ago. Maybe the priests at the sanctuary of Asclepios can help. They keep detailed records of all who pass through. Please, Hippocrates, I came very far to meet you. As did this patient, and the one before him, and the one before her. My patients need me, but my notes on diseases of the mind were taken. Retrieve them, and I will help you find what you seek. Hurry, this patient doesn't have much time left. Did Chrysis take your notes? Ah, you've met the priestess. No, not her, but the local military commander. I can't fault his desperation. Those men suffered terribly from battle fatigue. She would have come here a long time ago, with an injured baby. Are you sure she would have passed through the sanctuary of Asclepios? I was a young man then. When I encountered a situation beyond my skills, I would send the patient to the sanctuary. And these priests keep records of their patients? Yes, engraved in stone. The elder priest might remember. What was so interesting about these notes? They were my notes about diseases of the mind, including what the priests call the sacred disease. That's what this patient has. He's losing control of his limbs and throat, sometimes frothing at the mouth. I fear his breathing will stop next. I'll do my best with what you've told me. Good luck. We're depending on you.
Hippocrates' notes are well guarded. Why? by the Cyclopes, or so the legend goes. is cunning. Understood, sir. What do you see that way? Nothing here. Keep your eyes open for your warm food. If they were still here, we would have seen them by now. Yeah! <laughs> 
What are you doing here? Hippocrates sent me. Your commander stole his notes, and I think you have them. The ones written by the great Hippocrates himself. I'm sorry, they were burned in the last attack. What? You heard me. The medical tent was burned. At least I memorized the notes before we lost them. Now transcribe them when I have time, or when the war subsides. Then, you'll have to come with me. A patient Hippocrates is treating will die without your help. I have a patient right here who needs my help. Can't someone else take care of this one? I'm the only doctor here. Now let me work. I'll wait here for you to finish. If I leave, what's stopping you from running away? Thinking like a mercenary. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Then make yourself useful and bring me my bone forceps. Some idiot or another's always borrowing them. Then you'll come treat Hippocrates' patient. You have my word. I'll go get your bone forceps.
The forceps should be in there. Once I deliver these, we can get back to Hippocrates. These are the forceps he wanted. It? You want a half bad assistant? When I'm done with the surgery, I'll be honored to help Hippocrates. Might be limping for a while, but Apollo willing, they'll make a full recovery. I'll meet you there. Don't be late. How is your patient? You were gone so long, he didn't survive. I'm sorry, Hippocrates. We took more time because this missiles helped me save my own patient. Sometimes science requires tough decisions. If we're finished here, I'll take some time and write down what I remember of your notes, Hippocrates. I'll go see the priests for more information about my mother. Come with me. You've had a busy day. The importance of diet to maintaining one's health cannot be overstated. What good can one apple really do? <laughs> well, taken daily, they can keep the doctor away. But to more serious matters, I know why you're here. You're looking for your mother. You remember her? I was young then. I didn't know how to help. I turned her away. But her look of determination and despair was born into my mind. It has never left me, and it never will. After, I swore to Apollo that I wouldn't turn away another patient, that I'd dedicate my life to the cause. She made an impression on me. Your brave mother did. She would be happy to know that. I sent your mother to the sanctuary of Asclepios. Tell the elder priest a treatment for the sacred disease will soon be available to any patient who needs it. Then he may talk to you. Thank you for everything, Hippocrates. I'll go see him now. Sanctuary of Asclepius, god of medicine. I'd rather trust a physician you than a god. Disgusting creatures! I can't work on. If you're here for your purification bath, you'll have to come back another time. I'm here for information. In that case, you can go straight to Hades. I need to know about the Spartan woman who came through here many years ago. Did that eagle of yours shit in your ears? I'm under strict orders not to talk to any mercenaries. Especially not about Spartan women, 
or injured babies. I never mentioned the baby. Think you're so smart? Many women pass through with babies. Now leave me. I have my own problems to deal with. Maybe I can help you. Snakes! Snakes? They're everywhere. Must have escaped from the Tholos. We keep them for treatments, but they invaded the bathhouse. These snakes killed someone? A patient was purifying himself when they slithered in. Turns out he's terrified of snakes. Fell over dead. Now the snakes have made him their home. What if I took care of your snake problem? Would you talk to me then? Oh, most definitely. The purification bath is crucial in the path towards healing. I'll clear out these snakes in no time. Icarus could use a good feast. Try not to kill them. Barrios will be furious if your sacred snakes get chopped to beats. Then how am I supposed to deal with them? Snakes are drawn to the bath's heat. Flood them with cold water, and they'll slither back to their hole. There's an underground pipe that may help you. I'll take care of your snake problem. Then, you tell me what I need to know. Okay, I can either kill them one by one, or flood them with cold water. And? Is the bathhouse free of snakes? I carved up every single one of those slimy malages. My babies! What have you done to my babies? Your snakes infested my bathhouse! A sick man is dead because of them! You! You did this! Good snakes are dead snakes. You'll pay for this! I curse you! Well? Well what? Uh, I took care of the snakes. Now you're going to tell me about the Spartan woman and the baby. <laughs> I actually don't know anything. It was before my time. The man who does know is Miven, but he won't tell you. He won't tell anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky snakes. Ugh. At least I got a name. Midon. Greetings, young one. Come to offer Asclepios a sacrifice? No. But I'm searching for a Spartan mother who may have. The great goddess Ira guides many mothers to the sacred place. Surely I'm too feeble to remember them all. What are these stone slabs for? These are uh, records. We document all who pass through, uh, their illnesses, treatments, so that the glory of Asclepios can be celebrated. Then I don't need your memory. I just need to find the right stone. 
Um, yes, of course. That's very wise indeed. If only I had the time to help you. Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just looking for my mother. It's Chrysis. She's got every priest in the sanctuary under her thumb, and she'll squash anyone who feeds information to the eagle bearer. Then don't tell me anything. Just bring me to the stone that can. Follow me then. Quickly. We must be discreet. Lead the way. This way. Over here. If anyone is watching, they'll have my head. What kind of sanctuary isn't safe for its priests? Times have changed, Eagle Bearer. This tale, written during the time of the great Elod revolt, you would have been only a child. I don't need the history, just the details. It tells the tale of a woman with worms in her throat. Asclepios took off her head so we could remove them, then reattached it in her sleep. Definitely not the right one. I wonder what Hippocrates would think of these treatments. Hippocrates is a fine healer. Showed so much promise. Showed? He's healing the sick right now. He puts too much faith in his hands, and not enough in the gods. When it comes to life and death, I prefer hands. Are all the testimonies so outrageous? Writers today, Thucydides, Evripides, the petulant Aristophanes, all of them try for realism, but what really inspires is greatness, magic, gods. This one tells the tale of a man with sword wounds. A pack of dogs licked him clean, and Eureka, a man's best friend indeed. This is hopeless. These stories give people hope, Eagle Bearer. Well, I'm losing mine. Tell me about Chrysis. A very powerful, dangerous woman. But it was not always so. She was abandoned here as a child and taken in by the priests, taught the ways of the gods. She learned uh, very quickly. It was very strong guild, and uh, before too long, it was the priests who listened to her. She was loved, but there's an anger in her heart that could not be soothed. So when her methods turned to madness, anyone who opposed her got... Um, got what? Avo and what about this one? Let me guess. It tells the tale of a blind woman who had her eyes licked by snakes. It reads, Of Sparta, came here with child, sought pity from the gods. Why is most of it scratched out? Oh, uh, I'm... I'll just tell you. I know this one by heart. The Spartan woman arrived filthy and bleeding from her travels. We cared for her, gave her food, a bath, and she left. Where she went, I do not know. The child could not be saved. Who does know where she went? We've been spotted. Meet me later, near the olive tree of Heracles, at the entrance of the sanctuary. I may have something for you. And what do we have here? A priest and a mercenary out for a friendly stroll? May the gods be with you, Plistos. I was just on my way to the archives when this Mystheus bumped into me. Is that so? And what were you both chatting about so fervently, might I ask? 
I'm filthy and could use a good bath. The kind priest here was pointing me in the direction of the bathhouse. Um, yes, that's correct. The bathhouse is right over there. Now, if you'll excuse me. The baths are for healing the sick, not for washing the blood off one's hands. Leave. That old priest hiding by the tree. <gasps> the tree of Heracles. I'm not sure if it's loved more for its legend. Or it's olives. Now, where's that priest? I thank you for your discretion, Eagle Bearer. Chrysis has many eyes and ears throughout the sanctuary. What else can you tell me about the Spartan woman and child? The woman left the child's blanket behind. We tried to return it, but it was too painful a memory for her. Where did she go? What happened to the child? So, Chrysis was right. You knew the rules, Timoxenos. You will suffer her wrath. Please, Tos. Please. Get behind me, priest. I'll deal with these two. May Asclepio spare her from suffering. Will she live? Not unless the gods heed our prayers. Many sick Athenians have arrived in Argolis recently, and very few have left. This poor girl has the same sickness. Is there anything I can do to help? I was warned of the eagle bearer. 
wants nothing but Drachmi for blood. I was told. We're wasting time, priest. We can discuss what I want when this sick girl's needs are taken care of. Her illness seems to have no cure, and it's spreading. Our sacrifices have done little to draw the attention of the gods. Pigs, goats, all have fallen on deaf ears. We need a beast whose blood will ignite these flames for Asclepios to see. What did you have in mind? There is a rumor of a bull with skin as white as snow roaming the sanctuary outskirts. Head west of here, towards the coast. Bring it to me alive, and we'll offer a sacrifice the gods cannot ignore. I'm touched you will help these people. But I know why you're really here. Chrysis made all priests swear oaths to seal our lips in the face of the ego-bearing Mystios, or forfeit our lives. But I serve the gods and the sick. My oaths are to them. The outskirts are vast. Can you be more specific about the location of the bull? Last I heard, it was grazing on Mount Corifam, near the Asini ruins. If you're just going to slit its throat, why do you need the bull alive? <laughs> but we're not just going to slit its throat. First, we pour water on its head. If it nods, we may proceed. Gods, mortals, and animals, all must be willing participants in a sacrifice, or it is impure. To save this many people, we will need the beast's blood, bones, and fat. Tell me about Chrysis. She has everyone terrified. We taught her everything we knew about healing, about the gods. Then she found new teachers, people in masks. They changed her, turned her heart black. They became her gods. I'll find this bull for you. White Bull? Am I too late? Best stay out of sight. Doesn't look like he died willingly. I'll take his heart for the sacrifice. It will have to do. <sighs> Not the best feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this heart is enough. 
If they want the whole bowl, they can come get it themselves. Did you find the white bull? I couldn't bring it back alive. But I did manage to collect its heart. This won't be enough to please Asclepios. The beast died unwillingly, and with just a heart, we'll only be able to pray for one life. Please, Mythios. The white bull you killed was mine. My farm feeds half of our lease. If I die, people will starve. I beg you! My husband was killed by this sickness. I have two small children. Who will take care of them if I die? I am wealthy and will pay you for this blessing. <coughs> it's okay. Give the sacrifice to them. You did this. You choose whose prayers get heard by the gods. I know what it's like to be small and forsaken. Pray for the girl. You'll regret this. <laughs> Not an easy choice, Mistios, but it's been made. The rest is in the hands of the gods. I did my part, priest. The Spartan woman you're after. You've met her? Her visit to the sanctuary is legendary, but sadly, it was before my time. The man you want is Midon, the elder priest. He spoke of her often, that is, before he cut out his tongue. Cut out his tongue? When he's not healing the sick, he's in the guest house. Spends a lot of time being tended to by the servants. <sighs> Thank you. I won't forget you helped me. And these people won't forget you helped them.